Hello everyone and welcome back to Twitch Monster 27. This is a continuation of the start of the broadcast that was done about a couple hours ago. Had some technical difficulties there. So now we are back. Again, this is an update. Yep, there's a little monster there as well. This is an update. Uh, let you know what's going to be coming up soon in the realm of racing for Switch Monster 7. And the new league that's going to be formed. Title BRL, that stands for Blitz Racing League. So, uh, this is what you can look forward to. There's already a schedule that. Um, up and available. Uh, so yeah, just to kind of pick up where I left off in the last uh, broadcast, just more uh, from the first part of the broadcast before it was cut off. I you know, just kind of wanted to get something back together before that this isn't anything that is going to interfere or take you know get copied. AMR in any way. Um, this is something that I hope is new and it's gonna be uh, fun for everyone. It's gonna be enjoyable, it's gonna be challenging, but I don't wanna make it a rip off of AMR just at a different time. Kind of fresh. Uh, a new perspective, uh, which is why I'm choosing not to go back to a lot of old racing or a lot of old stuff. Would definitely do some IR. As a matter of fact, hopefully, I can get at least one IR race. Uh, maybe not tonight. Blitz um, is concerned uh, just to kind of go over some, some similarities, similarities and differences from what Blitz is going to be like compared to what KMR was like. Uh, KMR had a lot more structured rules uh, to cover in a lot of different things because it was supposed to be more of a visualized NASCAR with my perspective. My perspective. And, uh, so you had team points and you had team for team concept and uh, a lot of things that were going to be official on the racetrack and a lot of rules governing that. So this is, the RL is not going to be like that. It's supposed to be more simplistic and straight to the point. So um, Inspired by the current pandemic and circumstances surrounding it, there's no qualifying in VRL as far as race to race. Uh, there are only nine races in a season. And those nine races make up the chase. So, in KMR, you can add up to 2028 race regular season and a lot of points played out. And you had a chase on top of all that. Now, People want to chase for championships. That's what, you, what, that's what it all boils down to. That's what people want. They want to chase for championships. They want to have the opportunity to do that. So, BRL um, takes you straight to championship action. Top 16 is the chase. So, right off the bat, BRL is going to start you in the chase. Um, with three races to qualify for the next round, obviously, in advance. The rest are filled out by points. So, that's first and foremost. Uh, there will not be a, a long regular season. It's straight to the chase. And there is no qualifying from race to race. So, how will it work out? Uh, well, the very first race uh, for the inaugural season, the very first race will be random, completely randomized. Grid to start, and then each race after that will be 
based on points, with the middle race being uh, a lot of cool addition, and it cuts out some time for you know, qualifying. That's some people who are like, I you know, got a bad qualifier spot because some idiot on a racetrack thinks it's championship night, final laps, and takes you out, you know, or whatnot. So, you don't have to worry about it. Where you finish on the racetrack is where you will be. It, it'll race is inverted. So that very first race, obviously, will be randomized. Second, third, um, so you know, the next round, all of your chase drivers are obviously going to qualify uh, or start up front. Middle race inverted, final race by points. And it'll just go like that all the way to the championship night. I thought that would be a really cool perspective, really fun to kind of get the ball rolling, and uh, hopefully enjoyable for everyone. Um, so, the qualifying race, there is no date as of right now for the qualifying race. Um, but the qualifying race will be at home, staying oval. Um, Depending on how many we have, I'm not expecting to have this for the first season. If there's enough for two separate heats, there'll be two separate heats of 10 laps, and then that will decide um, the grid for the top 16. There are no lock ins for the start of the league, so not even myself. No lock ins, nobody's here. Gotta go out there and earn it. Um, but uh, if there's two seeds, it'll be eight and eight. If there's two heat races, it'll be eight and eight. Ten laps. The weather will be determined by my location or the location of the well, my location. It's real simple. So, right now, probably not a good time to start it or else it'll be. That's what we are looking at so far, as far as uh, as far as that's concerned. So I'm hoping that uh, everyone has an opportunity to enjoy that. I'm looking forward to it. Everybody has the opportunity to, and I'm personally on that my phone. Sorry about that. That's what we're looking at as far as uh, as far as that's concerned. I uh, was just letting you know I got my chat up. So if you have anything you want to add in the chat or anything, feel free to do so here on Twitch Monster 27. Just give me an update on what the future is going to hold as far as uh, racing is concerned on my end. And if you are interested, want an early uh, spot, uh, please message me. Let me know your number. Obviously, I'm going to be the 2017. But um, one thing that's going to be, another thing that's going to be different from how KMR was for Blitz is that there are no teams, period, race for yourself. There are no teams. No manufacturer requirements, no number requirements. You can do any number, any manufacturer that you want to. The sponsor, whatever, don't matter. Just jump in the race car. Doesn't matter what number or what. There are no teams. So, that's going to be a perspective. I think. It's going to be a lot simpler. Now. I do whatever. There are no teams. So, points or anything. And there are some bonus points that you got. I'll be, be revealed much later what the points will look like and everything. Uh, 
whatsoever. No qualifying whatsoever. Just going out there getting it done week to week and trying to win the title. It's gonna be fun. We got a complete. I have a complete schedule ready. So when we race the schedule is all set. Um, all the racetracks for season one will be in the United States. It will not be any overseas uh, tracks like Prague or uh, any of the other ones. So that's something that. So we got Jody in the chat invite. Let's see. What's up, man? How's it going? Black hat, like I told the fractured earlier. This new week, guys. It's all man for their self. It's all man for their self. Yeah, buddy. It should be fun. And I will not, and I will not be driving the Blue Deuce. Okay. Who, what, what are you going to be driving? I'll be driving a Stewart Haas car. Okay. Well, there is no Stewart Haas. So, I mean, it's just... What car are you going to be driving? <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be driving the number four Ford. Okay. All right, so we already we got it there already, folks. Someone's already putting in for the number and the spot, and there will be a date. When this is decided upon, the date will be posted. We'll, I will keep you updated. Um, obviously, as of right now, website is not online so you won't be able to go to the game and riff and check anything out um, probably ever so what will happen is when I go to update the points and everything I will have a spreadsheet on the computer and I will do a live broadcast of the update so I'll just come on you'll see it on twitch and I'll say hey um, good doing here is the live update for the points for a live update you'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing and then that'll be it um, that way you can go back and look at it um, be able to go from there um, I'll also do a live update for the rules all the rule I will type all the rules in and then just go over the rules in a live broadcast so everybody can see it and uh, just do it like that But, uh, yeah, BRL coming soon. Just keep your eyes out. I'm trying to think of anything else. Oh, um, I'm trying to think of anything else I can go over without just giving away everything. Uh, yeah, the only person, that, the only driver to be locked in for the next season guaranteed would be the championship winner. Everybody else would have to qualify in. Everybody doesn't matter who it is, whether it's me or anybody else. If I didn't win, if no one, if the person didn't win the championship, then that person's not locked in. We'll have to run to qualify to run the next season. Um, no red. There won't be any red flags. Uh, no one came tomorrow. There were red flags and things like that. Um, won't be any red flags this time. So because of how late the start time is and everything, so have something you have to do or whatnot go on over take care of it you can get a lucky dog and get back on the lead lap if not it's tough what time is the start time i couldn't get to it in time uh, start time is 11 30 on saturday 11 30 est I don't know where that puts you as far as uh, star time. Me and you are the same time, Eastern time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, DNF's 100% um, engine. DNF, that's it. 
Um, oh, and a lot, I'm pretty sure a lot of people, I'm pretty sure at least half the field is going to be excited. The other half is going to be cringing at this one. In KMR, there was always restart rules about when to pass and when to make a legal pass and when not to. No rules as far as restarts and blitz. Um, you can make a pass and then drop the green flag no matter where you are on the You racetrack. just messed up. <laughs> you can make a legal pass. You can go six or seven wide in the corner if you want to. Just be mindful. 100% engine is a DNF. You go in there and do that if you want to. Tear up your car. That's, yeah, it's tough. It's roll, a lot of road courses. It's going to be a lot harder to get cocky. So. Riding around with a damaged race car. I mean, that's on you if you want to do that. But uh, there won't be any of those. There won't be any pat black flag pass-throughs. Um, every black flag will be a points penalty of some degree. Won't be pass-throughs or anything like that. And uh, in KMR, for cautions... In KMR, there was involvement rules. You called a caution, you were last, you were involved, you were had to fall to the back of the field. BRL, no involvement rules. You can call a caution, you're involved in a wreck, go pick, come back out. Wherever you come back out is where you start it. Cuts out a lot of the um, confusion that can be, oh, was I involved, was I not involved, what direction, you know, how do I know I was involved? It was lag, I never touched somebody, so cut all that out and um any let's see um oh and in kmr they tried to, we you know kmr tried to run the full allotted laps so you had some situations where there were white flag shootouts one lap to get it done and while that was exciting for its purpose uh in uh, brl there's there will be infinite overtime so that means that there will be a set schedule of laps over the allotted laps that we're going to run. And we will go green-white checkered until we can get to the white flag without a caution. Uh, if so the white really flag comes truly, out, have fun. Yeah, <laughs> really and truly, once that white flag comes out, no more caution. So one to go, no yeah. more caution. <laughs> Up until that point, we'll go into overtime and either until we get a green-white checker or until the laps that are ran over are fully exhausted. So, that should be interesting. I'm not, I'm, a, I'm hoping that there won't be too many infinite overtimes, but, you know, it should be. I probably, I probably know what the first race is at. Where's the first race at, then, since you know where you think it is? Day where you think it is? It's going to be Daytona. No, Daytona is not on the schedule. Um, especially due to, I know that there are many um, setups and stuff that you can do to, you know, to get the cars to draft well and stuff. Um, I will approach that at a later time. Right now, I just want to see if I can get the season, get the first season off the ground, and see how it's going to be running it. The next season, you can. Fiddle with they talk. I've already got so. I've already got a tentative if I, if, uh, me, if me and you ever wanna start running it. We wanna practice it. Yeah, we'll 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 approach that uh, later today. I just wanted to get as simple tracks as I can that are gonna be where people can come in and race pretty much trouble free. Um Please don't tell me fracture train's not allowed in here because at Andy he's gonna pull us away. Well, expect to get blown away then. Oh, But that just means that in the next race, you'd have to start last. So, oh, thank just, you, you really want to do that. Oh, I might just. <laughs> so, but that's just kind of what I'm thinking, um, kind of where I'm headed. Like I said, um, I already got a schedule out. Our schedule ready. Um, so, just to kind of pull out the schedule there, it's going to be um, obviously the qualifying race will be Homestead. 
and then it'll be Indy, Indy GP, Watkins Glen for the round of 16. And then the next round will be a round of eight. Not a round of 12, a round of eight. The round of eight race will be Airfield, Road America, and Sebring. And then the championship, for the championship, will be the name of the final round. Final round, I'll have four drivers. It'll be Lime Rock, Long, Long Beach, and the championship will be at I just won at Sonoma two days ago. So you should be pretty fresh. Maybe maybe you'll have some freshness by the time we get there. Yeah, because I gotta race Sonoma again this weekend. Or oh, actually tomorrow night. So that's what it's looking like. Um, each race will have race directions. Um, in KMR, you could cut corners at every racetrack. That will not be the case. Um, in this particular time will not be the case it'll depend on the track and conditions and, and, and everything so there'll be direction given before each race so we want to know what the deal is I want to try yep. I'll try cookie I'll try to help you get some drivers and stuff I have some friends that uh, race it a lot to race on Saturdays one is okay. Barcelona and he uh, he will actually run the same paint schemes as me, pretty much. Uh, which I try, I, I'll tell him they ain't no teams, but uh, you run the same paint style and work with me, and we can make it to the final four together. But until and, and when that final four comes, uh, all man for herself. <laughs> that's that's whatever strategy you want to employ. It'll be um, I'll post it on the uh, Xbox, um, you know, market uh, the feed. And, uh, you know, I've let a few people know and, you know, everything. So we'll just see what happens. Okay. I can yeah, even broadcast now it. fully. Yeah, I missed it too. I missed racing with you. Yeah, coming back. Well, I'm making sure it's at a period of time where it doesn't interfere with anything. And, uh,. Where I can I can do it it's relatively quiet, you know, I'm not interfering with anybody. Anything, everything is pretty much done, and we're just chilling out. So it gives me yeah. time to do that. I wouldn't have been the day like that. The other uh, KMR 2.0 went downhill after the qualifier, or after the first race. Just letting you know. Well, that's, that's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. uh, he gave me full thing, but I think I didn't want it. I thought it was your league. It was your league. Uh, I, was, I, I was respecting you. I said, I, didn't, I don't want it. Uh, I appreciate that, you know. Like you're uh, like a brother to me, so. I look like. Like I told them, I said, I don't want it. If you're not going to run it, then don't give it to me. Yeah, I look back at that. Uh, those, some of those races, I think, wow, how did I run a league like that for so long? 42 seasons. I don't know, man. Seasons. It was just... 42 seasons. Yeah. And I think, it, what was it, C... Season. It was the old. It, it was Xbox 360. I think it was the season that you gave it to Destroyer. I passed Hammer on the last lap. I forgot what season that was. The nine that won the championship. Yeah, it had to have been like season like 30 or something because we were going transition to Xbox One. That's how Destroyer got it. Yeah, it we was season 30. Four? Something like that, because we ran two seasons on um, Heat Evolution. We ran um, one season on Heat 2 slash NASCAR 15. 
then we ran two seasons on NASCAR Heat 3, and then we ran one season on Heat 4, well, two seasons on Heat 4, so that got us to our 40, so it was like 40, yeah, it was like 30, 34, something like that. Yeah, season 34. Yeah, season 34, guys. So it's been a while, so what's for me to come up to the field like a rocket and try to get me another championship? Or be the first one DNF, either one. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Um, I gotta get with Fracture and see if he can help me um, get my stream on the PC to be full screen. Because I do uh, the stream for my PC, second. but. It didn't work out. It was so I'm actually small, so. I was actually on the phone with Fracture just a second ago before you went live and I was talking to him. But I wasn't gonna run my two car this year. Because I want something new because it's a new era and I want something new. I want something when I won the championship I was driving the fourteen, I was driving a Stuart Haas car. So That's, that is true. So I'm going back to the four. So let's see if they give me some good luck. Not too long ago, I looked at one of those old races, uh, the Dover race, that that, that fracture insta stopped on the wall. <laughs> me and you two, the me, field. And, me and you was the only two that made it through that wreck. I didn't make it through that wreck. I, I didn't did. make it. <laughs> I made, made it through. through. I didn't make it through. I, I made it through right on in there. That was the race. And I don't understand <laughs> how I won that race. I had a green motor Even and I was with, running you down. I was running you, you down. Running, you were running me down, but see, the thing was, I could save so much more fuel because I, because of the cornering, because the motor was tore up. I was able to beat Speedy on fuel, and you on fuel. I beat air. I was sitting here like, man. I remember the championship race that year because you all was converting over to Pete that same year you all converted on over to Xbox One. That same year, and I went back and looked at Destroyer, I think Destroyer was via chat of uh, recording there for a little bit. And I looked at the White Hammer and guess what happened? And Destroyer actually texted me the other day and he said, look at the footage from me and he said, White Hammer wasn't clear, and that's why you beat him because he got turned off your front bumper. On NASCAR 15, you wow. had to make sure your rear bumper was clear before you went up, or you get turned every yeah. time. Yeah. You remember, um, on, um, when we would do those restricted play races, remember I had made a rule. Four car if tandem. You get shuffled, if you get shuffled out of line, but you had to stay up. You couldn't come back down. You had to stay up on that high side and go to the back of the line and come back down because if you go up and come back down, even if you're clear on your screen, the car, the car behind you or the car in front of you, you're not clear for some reason. And you end up turning the car in front of you. As soon as you come back down, you end up turning them. So you have to stay up and then I let the car in front of you come up and bring you back down and that prevented a lot of wrecks and what that did was cause a lot of side-by-side -side racing because i remember that that same year that me i think it was me in the 14 you in the 27 uh speedy it's your teammate in the three y'all had another teammate in the 31. it was a was five right no, no, that fracture, was, was the no, fracture, no, fracture was uh, the 22. Yep. That was the year before me and Fracture come teammates and you said, Oh crap. Either Sloppy's going to burn, either Sloppy's going to the left and then Fracture's going to get by or Fracture's going to lift and Sloppy's going to get by for the win at Daytona. That was that next year, that following year I ended up winning Daytona for my first race at Super Speedway on Ford so six. But that same, that year, it was fracture in the 22. Fracture got turned right, and he hit the gas. And he got boosted by me because I jacked his tires up. Me and him hit 215 going down the back, but somebody slammed me from behind, and we ended up passing all y'all and coming down. And one of y'all got turned from behind us because we took the arrow for y'all's <laughs> 
I don't remember. I don't remember. I mean, I'm gonna tell you the best move. Tell you, I remember the best move I have ever made in any of the races. We were at, we were it was from Forza Six race, and it was out. I, I was in the 27, of course. Um, we were on Forza Six. We were coming off of two. And I was drafting with Speed B, and we were about to pass Ender James. Speed B jumps from in the middle lane to pass Ender off the exit, but he checks up a little bit. So I jump to the high side and make it three wide, and we're three wide going into three and four. And I, I, what happened was I scared Speed B, and he came down and wrecked Ender James, and they wrecked. And Speed B was all mad at me at first. He was like, "Why would you do that, Cookie?" Why would you do that? Because, and I'm like, I never came down. I just came down a little bit to keep from hitting the wall. I never came down on you. It's like, yeah, but you scared us. You should have never did that move. It's like, well, I'm not gonna check up with people riding down my, my tailpipe. I'm not gonna check up and then get turned and wrecked. You're just gonna have to, you gotta know how to hold your line. I remember, I remember uh... You probably remember this, Forza 6, it was me and Fracture's teammates, the 22 and the 2. It was the last race before y'all moved back to 15, NASCAR 15. You flipped. I hit my handbrake. DM, DNF you. You flipped up and over top of my car. <laughs> If you go back and look at the footage, you would see what you race? flipping. That was Daytona Night. Knowing the big Daytona pileup night. happened. <laughs> Daytona Night. Which season was that? That was three seasons ago when we was on Forza Six. Three seasons ago? I have to look at that. Yeah, <coughs> uh, I can actually look it up right now, I can tell you when it was because I actually have it on Fracture's thing that's what I'm doing I'm looking it up right now real quick well I'm gonna tell me it real quick and then I'm gonna get off of here I just wanted to do a brief broadcast and let everybody know what was going on and everything and I'm gonna do let's see not tomorrow, probably Saturday night, late Saturday night, I'm going to do, um, I, I'm going to stream some my race and I'm going to do that Arca race at Darlington, um, cause, simply because I don't have Bristol, so I'm going to do that Arca race and probably some, um, one of those modified races. I have my auto still up my phone, it's a lot more better if I just... Do it on my phone because I have everything. I'm going to stop the stream right here, guys. Um, hit me up. Feel free to hit me up. Sam Cook 7287857875. Let me know if, uh, if you're interested. The card, or I can give you the card or numbers or anything like that. And uh, if you want a free entry, you know, reserve a spot or whatever. If not, we'll see you on the track when we see you.